Praise! I've done it. After four years of searching, struggling, reading through hundreds of reviews, I have found it. A game capture that works with Mac. Hey everybody, I'm Mother Goose 27 and welcome back to my channel. So, you guys saw my last video. It has been a struggle. That was me trying to stream like one series. I have been fighting for like four years. Literally, that is how long I've been doing YouTube for four years. First, I was streaming on my Xbox just through the Twitch app and that was that worked, but it wasn't ideal. And then just out of the blue, it stopped working on me. And then I go back to it and I get it to start working, but then my audio is complete doo-doo. Again, just go look at my last YouTube video if you want to see what happened and the struggles that I went through there. And then my friend Impacted Joker let me borrow his Elgato and that was just a complete disaster. Let me tell you what, what light is? Let me tell- DISASTER! Didn't work. So I gave up, and I just kinda gave up. And then, years later, I was like, okay, great. I'll try it again. So I got an Elgato, and plot twist, it didn't work. And then a couple days later, they released OBS Link, and it worked. And then a month later, Mac updated to macOS Catalina, and it didn't work again! <laughs> After like almost four years! Waiting and struggling, I finally got it to work. And then Mac updated, and it stopped working. Oh my gosh, this has literally been such a struggle. But I did it. I found it. I found a game capture card that works. And you guys can see that through my last stream, I thought it went really well. It's probably one of the best streams I've ever had. Shout out to House Dog for just talking throughout the entire thing. Um... Yeah, anyway, I don't typically do these kind of videos, but I just felt like as much struggle that I have been through, I'm sure there are other people who are using Mac who want to stream and are just so frustrated because so many companies are like, yeah, it works on Mac, but it either doesn't or it only works on like higher end Macs. Because I've, I've got a 2015 MacBook Air, and so it's a little older. It's not the worst computer, but it's definitely not the best either. I found a capture card, and I'm going to share that information with you guys, and I hope you enjoy. So, like I said, I don't typically do these kind of videos, and I'm probably not going to keep doing these videos. So if you're here just for, like, tech review, I'm not your guy. I just have had such a struggle and I want to share what I found with you guys. So, what you've all been waiting for, the encoder. Wait, not the encoder, the game capture card. It is the Cloner Alliance Flint 4KP Plus. First, let me say, this thing is... Okay, it looks really big in this video. Sorry, my computer's over here. Um, it looks really big compared to my head, but that's just because I got a small head. Don't get confused, this thing is tiny. And I was really surprised. I was really, really surprised by just how good it works. So, first off, like $170, which I think is definitely worth the price. Such a good product. I really haven't had, okay, I've had some tiny issues. I don't wanna say it's perfect, but it is leagues above everything else. So. Like I said, I got an Elgato. If you have a Mac, do not, I repeat, don't buy an Elgato. It's not worth it. Just don't. Save yourself the hassle. Trust me, I've been waiting four years for Elgato to make itself work, and it didn't. Elgato, you lost me. You lost a customer. Just kidding. I'm still going to buy your other products, but your game capture is trash. So let me tell you about this little thing. Like I said, it's $150. Definitely worth the price, super simple to use. Uh, hopefully my camera can get this. You've got HDMI in and out. You have your USB, uh, USB-C, sorry. Oh, forgot what it was called. To USB for your um, computer door. Uh, you have a mic, cool. 
Sorry, I can't read it. Okay, so you got mic, line out, and line in. Which, this is great. If you were sh if you want to stream on the Nintendo Switch, this is perfect. Because you can't stream audio on the Nintendo Switch and have headphones in. And you obviously don't want to let your audio play through your TV because you, you're going to get feedback. It's not going to be really synced with your game audio that you're actually streaming. And I think Elgato has a line out too. Um, but this... This is, it's super simple, it's super easy to understand. Just line out, just plug your headphones in there, and you can hear it. Perfect solution for the Nintendo Switch. Here in just a second, I'm gonna show you guys how to actually use it, um, but let me just talk about the issues I have seen. Wait a minute, before that, let me talk about what's actually in the box, what you get. You get the Flintlock 4K Plus, Obviously, the game capture. You get a USB-C to USB. You get an HDMI cord. And then you get adapters so you can use your phone. And I would show those, but I have everything kind of plugged in right now, so I don't really want to unplug those cords. And then I forgot my box, which has the adapters. But it's super nice. It's got everything you need to record your phone, except a lightning bolt. So... Apple users, again, were kind of on the down there, but I'm sure you can get a USB to, um, or an HDMI to Thunderbolt. You should be able to buy one. I don't know. I haven't looked because I'm, I'm not really interested in recording my phone, but uh, Android users, you guys are set to record your phone. It also comes with its own software. I haven't personally used the software yet because I use OBS Studio, but I'm super pleased with the product. I'm sure their software is great as well. But again, I have not used it. So just take it as you will. I don't like the position I'm sitting in. It was a bad frame comp. For those of you who don't know, I'm a media major. I like film. I make tons of videos outside of my YouTube channel. Um, I'm actually pretty good, but my YouTube channel's trash, so. What's that about? I don't know. I recently shaved my beard and I realized that like, I got serious double chin. Look at that. I didn't notice. I don't know how long I've had it, but it's been there. I haven't shaved my beard in three years, so maybe that long, maybe less, I don't know. Anyway, so uh, now I'm just gonna, uh, okay, right. <sighs> I'm super scatterbrained. I just talked about what actually came in the box. Super useful stuff. Now I'm going to talk about what I don't like and the issues I've had, but like I said, the good definitely weighs out the bad. The good being the fact that it actually works. Okay, so I've looked at a lot of capture cards from the Blackmagic, Elgato, a couple other brands, and literally this is the only brand that I've found with no negative Mac reviews. This is the one, I promise. Like. The only other capture card I have used is Elgato. And I got it to work, but it literally was so frustrating. It was such a process. And again, if you wanna see the struggles I've had with that, I'm leaving a link to my last YouTube video, which just shows you all the problems I've been having. And I'm sure there are probably other capture cards out there that do work with Mac, but every one I found that said it works with Mac, I also found reviews saying, this does not work with Mac. It's a fraud, these people lying. But this one literally had no bad Mac reviews and I'm just adding on to it. It is great. If you're using Mac, this is the capture card for you. So what I don't like about it, and I think this is an OBS slash my computer issue. I do not think it's a capture card issue. Uh, so far, I've only been able to record 720. Anytime I try and record 1080, it just doesn't work. It starts to get really, really laggy. But again, I think that's a my computer thing. I think if you do have a little bit more powerful of a Mac, you're gonna be fine. It may also be an OBS problem because I was trying to record and the encoder was overloading just my video and I've never had that issue before uh, if I was doing 1080, which I think I'm doing 720 now because I'm gonna be recording my screen and there's really no point. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. So, I, I, like I said, I think that might be a my computer slash OBS problem, not the actual cloner lines. This, from what I've heard from the reviews and other YouTube videos I've watched on it, it can record up to 4K and it can stream up to 1080, but again, it might 
with really high-end computers, you may be able to get this to stream 4K, but don't take my word on it. <gasps> Another problem that I've found is that, uh, and I've only had this issue with the Nintendo Switch, uh, I haven't had it with the Xbox, is that the game video is a little laggy. The audio passes through just fine. Not laggy, I'm sorry, that was the wrong word. The game video is a little delayed. And so, like I said, I have not had that issue with the Xbox One, uh, just with the Nintendo Switch. That might be a Switch thing. I'm gonna do some more tests later. I'm gonna leave just like a blank black card right here that says if it's laggy or not on the Xbox now. <laughs> so again, that is an issue, but you can't, OBS, there's a fix with it. You can put a delay on your audio and your face cam to make sure that everything is in sync. So it's an issue, but it's not something that's gonna stop you from streaming. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to just set it up. It's super simple. I'm not gonna actually like show you the actual setting this up. It's really simple. You just HDMI in, whoa, whoa. So your Xbox, Switch, PlayStation, phone, whatever. Then they've got an HDMI out that goes to your TV. USB, USB C uh, to USB that plugs into your computer. It's pretty simple. So, in terms of setup there, super easy. I'm just going to show you how to now actually set it up on OBS. Okay, great. So, um, I've been really struggling uh, <laughs> to get this to work, but um, I think I got it. Okay, so. Here's the deal. So you have everything set up cord wise. It's really simple. You just go over here. You've got OBS set up. Here are the scenes I typically use. I've created a new scene, which I'll show you how to create a scene just in case you've never used OBS before. Um, you go to the plus, title your scene, whatever you want, and then hit okay. Super easy. And the purpose of the scenes is while you're recording or streaming, you can just switch to different scenes. Okay, so say you're recording and you gotta pee, you obviously don't want your stream up, and, or you don't want people to join your stream and think nobody's there. So I've just got this one that's really simple. I'll be right back. And that's all people see. So the scenes are super, super helpful. So you've got your scene and then the sources are what's inside of the scene. Just go down to the plus, click on it, go video capture device. And then this is gonna be your actual gameplay. So I've already got my game capture in a different scene, so I'm just gonna call this game video one. You can name it whatever you want, and I'm gonna hit okay. And then you wanna go to devices and go live stream USB device. And there you go. And then you can change your resolution if you want. Uh, if you do, you wanna unclick use preset change the resolution, and then change it to 30. Or 60, whatever you want. I'm gonna go with 30. I have not had this issue with Xbox, but um, the frame doesn't per perfectly fit with Nintendo, so you just gotta drag it up to the corner here. Oh, find the spot you want. Drag it, and there you go. So this doesn't capture the video and the audio at the same time, so you're wanna, gonna wanna go to plus again, Click on audio input capture, call it whatever you want. Again, I already have one called game audio, so I'm just gonna call it game audio two, and then hit okay. Then again, you just wanna click on the mic you want. So I'm using a Rode, uh, the NT USB. Love this mic, and then hit okay. And there you go. And so um, the audio input capture two is my mic. You can change your volume there, and then you've got your game audio, which I would also recommend, I think if you click Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. I think if you right click, um, here's how it's typically gonna look. If you right click on it, or for Mac users, control click, uh, you can click on vertical layout. And I think the vertical layout is just so much more useful. Like I said, there is a delay with the Nintendo Switch, not Xbox, at least so far. So it's super easy to add a delay onto your audio. So you just go to this little cog down here, click on it, go to advanced audio properties, 
and sync offset. Change them both. This is totally just guess and check, really. Uh, I'm gonna say 300 on my audio. I would change your audio for your mic and your audio for your game as well. And then hit close. And now the audio should be just a little delayed. And so it should match the delay on the actual game. Now, if it doesn't, just go back in, do the process again. Cog, advanced audio process, properties, mm. <laughs> and then just switch your sync offset. The higher the number, the more offset it's gonna be. Okay, sorry I'm so awkward, but I got it to work. Like I said, I don't really do tech review videos, but I just really wanted all the Mac users out there to know there's hope, there's a game capture card that works, that we actually have a chance now to rise above in the streaming ranks and wars. And yeah, I'm sorry I'm awkward. I'm gonna be leaving a link down below to where you can too get yourself one of these Cloner Alliances. Also, not sponsored, <laughs> but you could sponsor me, Cloner Alliance, hit me up. I love your product. Send me money, please. Anyway, I'm gonna be leaving a link in the description to the Cloner Alliance. Uh, I will also be leaving a link to OBS. Oh, OBS, oh, wait, oh, OBS. I'll be leaving a link to the microphone that I use, the camera I use. I don't know, is there anything else I have that you guys want the link to? I'll provide it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for putting up with my awkwardness. I think I've said everything I want to say. Make sure to subscribe if you want to join the flock. And um, I will see you in the next one. Mother Goose out.